Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. We really don't have much more to go before we get to where the restricted laboratory was in Sector 6, which t actually it's in the main deck, but we have to go through Sector 6 in order to get to it. Now we just gotta do the same thing here. Oh, whoops. I went to the wrong place. <laughs> I need to get up here. Just gotta go through here again. Oh, that power bomb can be so lovely sometimes. <laughs> okay, now we have to switch to our diffusion missiles here because this is... Oh, why did that work? There we go. Diffusion missiles are really the only way to get to there because even if you try the power bomb, it'll show you that you need missiles. So, before we know it, we're already at sector, sec yeah, sector 6 now. I don't know why I was trying to stay <laughs> Oh, oh, cool! I didn't even, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, this game likes to give you shortcuts once you re acquire the screw attack. Blue X, I'd like to get you, but I really don't need it, so there's really no point. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I gotta go back up. I'll get that blue X. Just to make Yeah, I, I kind of thought that I was... Be because I need to go through this way. No biggie. And here's a chock full of X parasites again, blue ones. And throughout this run, as you can see, even if you take some damage from enemies, you can quickly get back to where you're at full energy just by using the screw attack and just by how powerful the wave beam is, it certainly packs a wallop. There's one thing I want to get and it's through here. See how long it takes me to get this. Oh. Uh, I forget exactly how to get. There we go. As you can see here, there's fake blocks here, which Samus would help if you could t turn back to normal. Okay, let's try this again. This can. Oh. Need to say this is a, a bit tricky. This kind of reminds me of the one energy tank that you need to get in Sector 2, which, I gotta be honest, I'm not even sure I'm gonna get to that. As you can see, once you go down, there's no going back up unless you do it all over again. Okay. Oh, come on! Okay. Just go, go, go! There we go! Whew. Yeah, that could be tw quite tricky to get. But if you're patient, you can get it. To be honest with you, I would, if I didn't get it uh, after that, I would try. I would have tried a few more times, and I would have given up. But yeah, patience is a virtue in this game. But the only problem with that is, is if you speed run this, then it's gonna pretty much kill that. Especially if you're trying to finish to get this game under two hours in order to get the best ending. Which, for me, that ship has sailed quite a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, between me dying all the time and getting lost and taking a long time to get certain items, there's no way that's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, now we're here again. And there's actually an item to get along the way, which I'm gonna be getting along here, but I need the speed boost in order to get it. Hey, okay. make sure you shoot straight up, or else you will not get this power bomb tank. And then that means you're gonna have to go through sectors one, two, four, and six all over again, which is not fun. Okay, what say you, computer? Oh hell no!
What? I'm not leaving. I'm not done yet. Yeah, you tell it, Samus. Oh, this is so reminiscent of the Alien series when Ripley tried to warn Berg just how dangerous the Xenomorphs were. And the Federation sounds an awful lot like the Whalen Utani Company in those movies. Good way to describe them, Samus. <laughs> well, you think she's stupid or something? <laughs> yeah, right. Good question. Well, they're certainly gonna give it a try. Oh, it'd be difficult, no kidding. Of course, she blows up planets and crap. Why wouldn't she destroy a potentially dangerous species? Okay, that was mean. Yeah, thanks to having to fight that box security robot again. Actually, no, no, I take that back. That was from the Notori fight. The box security robot the second time gave me the wave beam, not the plasma beam. Yeah, no thanks to you. I sense a little bit of sarcasm there. Great. This music is really creepy, I do have to say, once again, good job to the musical people that did this. Yeah, they already obliterated the whole crew of the BSL. What way to remedi remedy it? Send more people! If I ever needed to get rid of something, I'd ask Sam or Saren to do it for me. <laughs> As you can see, the computer will not let me out, so... Here's round two. Uh... It's a little bit of a Freudian slip there. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> um, um, he's nobody, you know, he's just a friend, you know, it's not like I have him on my mind all the time, you know, he's just nobody. I just, did someone I took for this one before. <laughs> Why? That's a silly question. And Samus doesn't even blink here. 
they did go into a little bit of Samus and Adam's uh, relationship and other them, but I think they could have handled it much better than what they actually did. I think with what little dialogue that we have with Samus in this game did a better job explaining her relationship with Adam than what other M could ever hope to achieve. Don't patronize me, computer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, come on, man, keep up. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> you tell him, Samus. Well, what do you care, computer? What? Music stopped. What's this? Could the computer have a change of heart? Yeah, no kidding, Sam. It's I'm confused too. New music. Oh, I love that close-up shot there. Seems like the computer has changed its tune a little bit. Now it's on our side. My favorite line in the entire game. <laughs> and, 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 you know, this may sound silly, but even though they forced this Adam thing down our throats pretty much the entire game, I can't help but get a little teary-eyed seeing that line. It goes to show that Sam is putting her faith and the dead companion wasn't all for naught, and that Adam really was with her this entire mission, and... Oh, I love that. And I love this music. This is a, actually my favorite tune the entire game. And it's going to be playing the whole time until I reach the operations room in the main deck. Which is fine with me. <laughs> okay, this video is going on long enough. I think I'm going to reach the next save point, or I think I'm going to end it there. Oh, I love the screw attack. Okay, we're just going to go in here because I do not want to forget this again. And I nearly forgot it a third time. <laughs> but yeah, defeating the gold space pirate... Oh, Really? Which means I gotta go... And defeating the golden space pirate will open up that hatch to give me an, a uh, power bomb tank. Not that I really need another power bomb tank, but I want to get as much done as I can. Okay, now I gotta do this right this time. Okay... Just gotta- oh, come on! There we go! BOOM! <laughs> and just gotta go in here? 
And there's a power bomb tank that I should have got the first time I was here. <laughs> but yeah, all I need to do is find my way back up here if I can. <laughs> Just gotta get up here. And go in the save room and um... But yeah, after a long bit of dialogue between Samus and Adam, this is a good time to pause. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I will be seeing you guys again next time.